Hey yo, hey guys, it's Mr. My Assets here, and this is number two of my two-part normal model examples videos. So this is all the work that I did in the last video, and so we'll continue working on uh, on these other problems. What are you doing here? Um, so I, I, you know what I think I'm going to do here, guys. Is I'm going to, oh, I'm going to put this guy up here. I'm going to uh, um, scratch all this stuff out here so that we can uh, take a look at this for the other problems. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit from the last video. Okay, so let's take a look at um, this third, fourth problem here. It was a little slightly different than the other ones. Number four. Describe the fuel efficiency of the worst 20% of all cars. So now, now the other ones we did, they gave us the, the, the fuel efficiency. Now they give us the percentage of cars. So, you know, the worst 20% are going to be, you know, we don't really know where that is, but, you know, it's going to be, uh, I don't know, somewhere, you know, somewhere in here. You know, and, and it's all down here. Okay. This right here, that is going to be 20%. So we want, because this is the worst 20%, all this, the bottom 20% of all cars. So what we're going to need to know is we're going to, we're really going to need to know what that Z-score is. Because if we knew the Z-score, we could just kind of solve this little formula here and figure out what that fuel efficiency is. So um, in order to find that, that, now let me show you your work for this is going to be drawing this, you know, drawing this and shading in and saying, yeah, this is 20%. So we need to find the z-score for 20%. All right. So the z-score for 20%. We're gonna use uh, we're gonna use our calculator. So let's go down our calculator here, and we're gonna use the inverse norm. So remember that the normal CDF gave us the percent. So we're gonna go backwards, and a, and a function that goes backwards is an inverse function. So menu, statistics, distributions, inverse normal. The area, well remember the percentage is the area under the curve. So 0.20, because 20%, our mu is zero and our standard deviation is zero for our z-score. We're gonna hit okay. So our z-score is negative 0.84. Okay, so we'll go back here and our z is equal to negative 0.84 and we're going to set that equal to y minus 24 over 6. Now where did I get that? y is my value, mu is 24 and sigma is 6. So this is the formula for z-score. I'm not going to solve this using just a, you know, using a little bit of algebra. So 0.84, let's multiply both sides by 6 and then we'll add 24 Okay, so we've got 0.84 times 6, multiply by that, and we're going to get 18 point, about 18.95. 18.95 miles per gallon. Now, this is your work that you should show, but on the AP exam, what they really want to know is that you know what you're talking about in terms of the normal model. So, I, you know, I really can't see this anything more than a, a, a multiple choice question, but if it is on the free response, you're going to want to shade in your normal model and point that this is 20, you know, this is 20% and you're looking for everything here, but you can actually do this in your calculator. If you recall when we did inverse norm, inverse normal, it asked for the area, which is 0.2, and then it asked for the mu and theta. So you could put your mu as 24, and your sigma, I said mu and theta, I meant mu and sigma, your standard deviation was six. And watch what happens. 18.95, which was what we got, 18.95. So you can do it all in the calculator right away, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing for the next ones, okay? So we'll shade them, but we'll go right into the, the actual problems here, or we'll, the answers here. So we'll, let's do number five. What gas mileage represents the third quartile? The third quartile is the 
is the upper, okay, the third quartile is 75%, right? 75% of the data. So we want to know where the third quartile is, and that's going to be where 75%, so our area here, well, I'll draw it here, is where we're going to have 75%. So this is going to be somewhere around here, okay? So all of this is 75%. And our third quartile, Q3, is going to be somewhere right here, okay? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for Q3. Now, Q3 is not a Z-score. Q3 is the actual value in our data, right? So we're going to, we're going to say that Q3 is going to be, well, let's just go ahead and compute that. Remember, we're looking for that z-score under 75%. So let's go ahead and compute that using our calculator. Let's go, Q3. So inverse norm, inverse normal. Our area is 75%. Our mu is going to be uh, 24. And our sigma is 6. 28.04, all right, uh, we'll run that up to 28.05 miles per gallon. Um, it is worth noting that Q3 corresponds to a Z-score of 0.67. So some people actually just memorize this that my z-score is going to be 0.67 for Q3. Um, you know, and, and, and on the other end, Q1, the z-score is going to be negative 0.67 because Q1's on the other side. All right, um, let's use this do the last one here. Describe the gas mileage. Oh, six. Of the most efficient 5% of all cars. All right, so we're talking about the top 5%, right? So we're talking about you know, the top 5%, like these guys right here. Now you would think that this right here is 5% because this is the 95% rule, but um, that's not the case because remember that that 95% corresponds to both this part right here and this part right here. So you know, we're actually a little bit more than that. Okay, so it's probably about, you know, somewhere right here. All right, so that's 5%. So that's what we're looking for, the upper 5%. So let's figure that out, the upper 5%. Go to our calculator. Again, inverse norm. The upper 5%. So our area is going to be 95%. Our calculator only calculates areas below the percentage, which is called a percentile. So, you know, we're looking at, we're looking 5%, the most efficient 5% is really the 95th percentile. Or, or the, or the uh, everything bigger than 95% of the data. Okay, so, so the 95th percentile is, uh, would mean that they're on the top 5%, every, all the, the rest of the 95% are down here, okay? So we're looking for the 95th percentile, so we're gonna go back here. And 0.95 is gonna be our area. 24 is our mu, six is our sigma, enter. 33.87 okay so we got 33.87 miles per gallon now I probably say you know I probably want these in full sentences right the most efficient 5% of all cars will have a fuel efficiency of 33.87 okay miles per gallon that would be what I want, want to say okay all right, so um, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to go over. This is this is a shorter one here. So um, there you go. There's uh, this is using inverse norm, and um, the last video was using normal model. Okay, talk to you soon, guys. Bye.